A village on the outskirts of a castle provides a lot of interesting narratives. The style and perceived wealth of the area gives you a lot of information, the juxtaposition of the castle looming above in the background, even what kind of relationship the leaders might have with the city. This can all be portrayed through planning a town, or just really any town really. So let's take a look at the things I personally pay attention to when planning a town. First thing to note is that absolutely nothing at this stage is permanent. The final layout might be similar in broad strokes, but the details might completely change as I find out how the building style that I use fits with other nearby buildings. To pick the area that I wanted to build in, I thought about what made sense in relation to the castle that was already built, but also where I could get a nice vantage point from. Both sides provide an awesome view of the castle, but also looking over the surrounding environment. I had to terraform this area quite a lot to make room for what I wanted to do, and it's going to take a lot more to make this mess look good when I get everything built and know exactly what I want it to look like. I used different color wool mostly just for two groups, orange for roads and blue for buildings. Anything different colors are specific ideas I had, like the black in the back would be an entrance to catacombs and the brown are merchant tents and so on. I like to start by laying down the road from the castle. You can view this as the main street, and everything was kind of built around it in a way. It's really short, but it leads directly into the town center, which for this section of the town, being the business section, everything will revolve around it. It's at this point that I already start playing with space economy, making shifts from spacious areas and tight alleyways, which I think makes a build much more realistic and interesting. Imagine that you're in an open area and you see a tight alleyway, or vice versa, you'd probably be drawn to that new area to explore. I've also made a point to make sure that there is never only one row of houses unless there is a natural point of interest behind it like a cliff. Your town will lack a little bit of depth if the entirety of it can be viewed from the center, not that it can't be done with small towns. And the final bit that I really tried to put into this planning stage is that I wanted there to be a point of interest basically in every direction of the build. I don't want someone to walk to the corner of the village and just feel like they landed themselves among a bunch of cookie cutter homes. Whatever those point of interest are will depend on your build, but I've got a tavern, a couple towers, catacombs, an herbalist, a church, and mine entrance, and even a berry farm. Builds come alive from the ground. Walking through the layout at ground level will give you a good idea of how cohesive your layout is. If you find that it's tedious to get from one place to another, or that the walk is too involved, being just a straight shot, then you might need to make some revisions. Thanks for watching, let me know what other things you'd like to see built in the comments. See you in the next one.